What's up guys, Andrew Simpson here, AKA ASIN Vlogs. All right, so this video, I'm gonna talk about white privilege. The reason why I'm talking about it is because there's so many instances in my life recently where people have brought it up. And I just wanna say my two cents on it and then be done with the issue forever. All right, so let me start off by defining what privilege is and then what white privilege is. So privilege in general is, give, is a group based on their ethnicity, race, gender, uh, or any other differentiator that we have causing them to have a distinct advantage over people who do not fit in that same group. White privilege is white people having specific illicit advantage that other people are not having because of the color of their skin. Okay, so let me talk about the effects of white privilege. The effects of white privilege in white people is that it allows them to feel either as though they're given things because of the color of their skin, that they can't work hard for it, um, or they're just entitled to having things happen for them. So tell that to the people that are impoverished because white privilege uh, made them have a false sense of comfort. Or the other thing that happens is they feel guilty, the white guilt thing where, well, since my race is ha has this advantage, I don't want to have this advantage, uh, just guiltiness, and uh, essentially causes divisiveness. Uh, the byproduct of both of those mindsets can lead to white privilege leading to more white privilege. All right, so let me talk about white privilege and black people. In black people, it can have two effects as well. Uh, in black people, it can make them feel as though there's an invisible force that's out to get them and the world is just not gonna give them a shot just because of the color of their skin. Or there's people like me who are potentially too arrogant or confident to believe that their race has anything to do with their level of success. Okay, so my problem with it is for the first point for black people, it, it creates the mindset of you know what, anything bad that happens in my life, I can blame it on my race, which means that it's a scapegoat. I can make sure that I don't have to do everything uh, possible to win. Now, let me be very clear, because I know some people that's gonna ruffle some feathers. Um, so, when I say that black, that it does create that mindset and that they people feel like they don't have the opportunity to win, it's a, I'm not gonna lie and say that there's no instances in there where being white did give people an advantage, but I'm not gonna ignore the fact that being black has given me advantage as well. So when we're talking about me specifically, uh, someone brought up an example. They said, hey, Andrew, if you and Joe, uh, Joe's a white guy and you're a black guy, if you and Joe go up for the exact same job and you have the same credentials, then nine times out of 10, they're gonna go with Joe. And to that, I said, maybe if I was just some random black guy, then yeah, maybe. But if it's me versus Joe, nine times out of 10, I wanna kick Joe's ass. Like Joe's fucked going against Andrew Simpson. If you're talking about me specifically, because I'm gonna outdo him because I understand that, yeah, there could be a chance that he'll have an advantage due to uh, what I'm gonna explain after I'm done making this point. So I am forced to be exceptional. Uh, there's, a, there's a video, an interview with Childish Gambino or Donald Glover, which or every way you know him as, where he was talking about how whiteness is blankness, and it's mainly, it's just because there are more white people in the world than there are black people. If there were as many black people in the world as there were white people, not in the world, in America, as there were white people, then chances are there'll be more successful black people uh, that can be able to do the exact same thing and create more black privilege. Now, to be very, very, very honest, uh, all groups have privilege in some way. Even people that are LGBTQ, they have an advantage because there are things that are segmented to um, tailor to them, to give them an advantage. Same thing with black people. Uh, there are exclusively black scholarships and then there's also things that are advantage white people as well. And then of course, the worst case of advantage that people that are not just white males have is affirmative action. It's, it's, an, it's a privilege, but it's not really necessarily an advantage because it just creates a mindset of things just being handed to you. The same thing that we say that white privilege does to white people. Uh, I don't think it's positive at all. Okay, so moving on. So here's what I believe white privilege is and what privilege in general is. So the reason what I believe white privilege is is a advanced form of nepotism. So nepotism is who you know, getting an advantage in a job opportunity or, or in a life, a life opportunity just because you're related to someone or you know someone. And white privilege is a greater form of that, but in a very, very general way. So nepotism would say, hey, my cousin wants a job, and so I'm gonna give it to him because he's my cousin. While white privilege would say, hey, that guy's white, we're both white, we share that in common, so I'm gonna give him the job. And I'm not gonna lie and say that doesn't happen, but the reason why it does happen is just because there are 
more white people in America than there are of any other group. Hence why they're the majority and we are the minority, which is a word I really fucking hate. <laughs> I, I really hate that word. But anyway, yeah, so you have to think about it like this. It's like when a feminist says that we have a rape culture because a rape happens. Because rape happens, it doesn't mean we accept it. So I would like to argue that the majority of the people in the world, in America, I keep saying the world, but the majority of the people in America do not think that white people should have an advantage over any other group. Hence why we do not live in a white privileged culture. However, there are so many more white people than there are uh, just everyone else in America that there are more instances where it's possible, where it's the realm of possibility for them to look out for another person. So if there were far more people who were just black executives who had the ability to give a more advantage to black people, like hence like groups that are out there just with the entire purpose of like getting black people out the hood, getting people in a better situation than they are. Uh, that's like what white privilege is, but it's a wider scale just because there are more of them than there are of us. Uh, I had a lot of stuff. I've been thinking about this topic for a long time, and I don't really know how long people are willing to watch these videos. So I'm going to end it here, but there's a lot more I have to say. So if this does spark a debate, I'm going to post this on Facebook. So if anyone wants to debate with me in the future, uh, if you watch this, this YouTube video, five years from now when when someone new has made it then I'm more than happy to engage or at least make a follow-up video but yeah I love to have this debate especially in person I love having this kind of this conversation because I think it needs to be talked about but see you guys